Season 5 is arriving in a couple of weeks and some very big changes are expected to be coming to Warzone. I'm going over info on what to expect in Season 5 which is out in just a couple of weeks by going over leaks and what the new season has to do with the release of Call of Duty 2020. Of course with all the leaked info nothing is 100% certain but it is very likely as you will see in the video. First if you're like me and hate to watch 10 minute videos and just want straight to the point updates and info then please support my channel by watching the video until the end and liking and commenting. This lets YouTube bots know that while this video is shorter it is worth promoting alongside much longer videos. Let's jump into it. So what's going to happen in Season 5? According to leaked sources, Season 5 is going to see a new Warzone map. The way in which the map will be introduced is going to be through the use of a nuke that will transform Verdansk as we know it, while at the same time introducing new elements to the game like trains. The reason for the change is simply to bring the map in line with the upcoming Call of Duty 2020, which is rumoured to be set during the Cold War and we have seen some things that change in Warzone that bring us closer to a Cold War meta like nukes. Back at the beginning of Season 4, if you remember the trailer, Price is heading to Verdansk. Zarkov has weapons which include a nuke as shown in the trailer here, and that was the start of the teaser. In the second trailer you can see a clip of Bunker 11 and the stadium, which is also possibly a clue, as we'll see later in the video. And after the Season 4 update, players could access Bunker 11, which on the inside, contains what is a nuclear weapon, a big red button, and a keypad that has yet to be cracked. Now at the same time back in May, one of the devs said a nuke would be a very easy way to force a change of scenery, weapon changes, operator changes, and so on. And at the time of Season 4, more leaked files mentioned nukes as well. So we know that nukes are in game and has the potential to be used for change, and that was confirmed by devs as well, whether that was intentional or not. But what does it have to do with the new Call of Duty? While the game's not officially revealed, it is confirmed by Activision that the new game will have a campaign, co-op, zombies and a battle royale, which will continue to be Warzone. That means at some point the game will have to switch to be in line with the new Call of Duty, meaning new operators, weapons and scenery. This ties into what that dev mentioned earlier back in May, and also with other leaked files that mention the devs didn't want to simply replace Warzone with a new version, but to transition from one to the next, meaning from Modern Warfare to the new Call of Duty. At that point, all of this is just rumors and leaked files. But let's jump forward to earlier this month, where on the 3rd of July, Video Game Chronicles announced significant changes were coming to the game in Season 5, citing a close source to Warzone saying a nuke will revamp the map, and additions will include a train filled with loot that will continuously circle the map, and an open interior for the stadium. Now again, that info can be taken with a pinch of salt, but Game Chronicles were the first to reveal the release date of Warzone, among other leaks that proved to be true, so they are a credible source. Finally, if we fast forward to this week, and we have two teasers, one is showing something related to trains, which I showed in the last video, and the other looks like CCTV inside the stadium. You can see a logo for a football team, that's a soccer kind of football, and also potentially shows a nuclear blast in the clip both of which go to prove what Video Game Chronicles mentioned earlier this month. The trains coming to the game is a no-brainer at this point. The leaks, the teaser, and the map changes, which add new tracks and tunnels, which now make a full circuit in this part of the map. You can drive around it yourself now, means that trains are definitely being added. The nuke has been teased for a few months, and with Call of Duty 2020 likely to drop in October, this would make Season 5 the final season of Warzone in Modern Warfare, so if anything is to happen, it's gonna be now. There are also some other leaked files, for example, this audio file from a BR folder. Nuclear threat inbound! Get out of there, now! Nuclear threat is inbound! All forces exfil the area now! Nuclear threat inbound! Get out of there now! Nuclear threat is inbound! All forces exfil the area now! The other leaked info is about is about the opening trailer for Season 5 that mentions Rose, someone called Lurch, a bomb, a bag, and the stadium. Also, it wouldn't be the first time we've seen a nuke in Modern Warfare. So guys, that's the major changes coming to Warzone in Season 5 in just a few weeks and how it ties into the release of Call of Duty 2020. There are leaks for Call of Duty 2020 that I'll probably go over in another video. In the meantime, if you have any questions about Season 5, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Remember to like and share so these YouTube bots can suggest the video, and you guys have been doing an awesome job on that in previous videos with likes comments and subscribers all being much higher in the last few weeks so thanks for that anyway i will see you guys next time